The danger isn't that rogue justices are operating without ethics. It's that Democrats aren't winning every fight and they find that reality intolerable. I've been disappointed by Supreme Court opinions too. But my Democratic co colleagues should fill out a hurt feelings report and move on for the sake of the Constitution. Look, the agenda-driven story here is that Justice Thomas has a rich friend who had no business before the United States Supreme Court. For context, let's recall that history is littered with examples of public officials failing to disclose their every transaction. We can acknowledge it's required by law, it is. We can acknowledge it's the right thing to do, it is. But we can do that without maligning each justice's motives and the entire institution's credibility, for God's sakes. You know who else amended their disclosures because of inadvertent admissions? Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Justice Stephen Pryor, two good people. Justice Jackson made multiple amendments three days, three days after President Biden nominated her. Not one senator brought that up during her confirmation hearings. Not one of my colleagues here walked into her hearings with, with the buckets of mud that they've thrown against Justice Thomas. Not one. Nor should we have. In the last month, some, not all, but some Democrats and their media allies have hyped up attempted hit pieces on every Republican appointed Supreme Court justice except for one. They've tried going after Justice Kavanaugh for buying baseball tickets. Justice Alito for having dinner with people who gossip. The wife of Chief Justice Roberts for hiring good lawyers. Justice Gorsuch for selling land in an LLC, which he properly disclosed to a major donor for the, to the Democratic Party, for God's sakes, who he, he's never even met. And Justice Thomas for having a rich friend. Justice Barrett, if you're listening, I hope you don't have library books overdue. If recent hin uh, history is any indicator, you're next. Today's hearing is an excuse to sling more mud at an institution that some, not all, some Democrats don't like because they can't control it 100% of the time. And that's a fact, and everybody in this hearing room knows that. Until they get the outcome they want in every case, I fear they are going to continue to slander it in an effort to take control of it. And I pray to God I am wrong. Uh, I will repeat what I've said before because I think it bears repeating. Violence against any public official, right or left, Democrat, Republican, or Independent, is unacceptable. We have tried in this committee to pass legislation to make that point clear and enforceable under the law. When it comes to the Supreme Court justices and others, we have an obligation to protect them. And it was Attorney General Gar Merrick, Garland, Merrick Garland, who has provided round-the-clock security for Supreme Court justices from the U.S. Marshals at their home, which I think is entirely proper. So there's no question about the bipartisan commitment to their safety. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.